Welcome to the Curiosity Factory, where we unravel the mysteries of the world around us. Today, we delve into the intriguing world of magic mushrooms. As we embark on this exploration, we tread into a realm that's shrouded in a cloak of mystery and intrigue, the world of magic mushrooms. They've been a subject of fascination, a source of wonder, a catalyst for spiritual journeys, and have even been called the fruit of the gods. At the heart of these mushrooms lies a powerful substance, psilocybin. It's the active ingredient that's responsible for the intense experiences reported by those who venture into the realm of these mystical fungi. Psilocybin, a naturally occurring psychedelic compound, takes center stage in the magic mushroom narrative, transforming the ordinary into the extraordinary. For centuries, cultures around the globe have recognized and harnessed the power of these magic mushrooms. From the indigenous tribes of Central America to the ancient Greeks, these mystical fungi have been used for spiritual and healing purposes. They've been revered as sacred herbs that could connect humans to the divine, unlock the secrets of the universe, and even heal the soul. But the question remains, are these just folklore and tales spun by our ancestors, or is there a grain of truth hidden within these stories? What if these mushrooms could offer more than just a trip into the mystical? What if they held the key to understanding more about our own minds, our emotions, and perhaps even the fabric of reality itself? So, what's the real deal with these magic mushrooms? Let's dive deeper into their science. Psilocybin, the active ingredient in magic mushrooms, has a profound effect on the human mind. This mysterious compound, found naturally in certain types of fungi, has the power to alter our perceptions, leading us on a journey through the depths of our consciousness. Let's dive into the science of it. Psilocybin works by interacting with the serotonin receptors in our brain, which are responsible for regulating mood, memory, and perception. Once it enters the bloodstream, it is converted into psilocin, a substance that can profoundly influence our thoughts and feelings. In fact, a study conducted by Roland Griffiths and his team at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine sheds light on these profound experiences. The researchers gave psilocybin to volunteers who had never used the drug before. The results were astonishing. About one third of the participants reported having what they described as a complete mystical experience. Many even went as far as to say it was the most spiritually significant experience of their lives. But what exactly is a mystical experience? It's a sense of unity, a feeling of interconnectedness with all things. It's a transcendence of time and space, a sense of sacredness, and a deeply felt positive mood. It's an experience that, for some, can lead to lasting positive changes in attitudes, mood, life satisfaction, and behavior. The study suggests a need to revisit the potential biological effects of psilocybin, which have largely been ignored for decades. While there is speculation about the therapeutic potential of psilocybin, experts caution against its use without proper guidance and emphasize the importance of continuous personal reflection for spiritual growth. But it's not all mystical journeys and profound realizations. There's also a darker side to psilocybin. Like any powerful substance, it comes with its own set of risks and side effects, including paranoia and anxiety. Stay tuned as we delve into the darker side of magic in our next scene. While the spiritual experiences 
can be profound, psilocybin also has potential side effects, including paranoia and anxiety. It's like stepping into a room where the lights suddenly flicker and go out. You're left in the darkness, grappling with unseen fears. This is what can happen when the magic of psilocybin takes a wrong turn. Studies have shown that about one-third of people who use psilocybin experience these darker aspects, leading to feelings of panic and unis. It's a stark reminder that even the most magical substances have their shadows. What's crucial is that psilocybin should always be used under the guidance of professionals and in a controlled setting. It's not something to be taken lightly or experimented with in an uncontrolled environment. The potential for harm is real and the risks should never be underestimated. Our understanding of psilocybin is still evolving. We're learning more about its effects, both good and bad, each day. But one thing is certain, it's not a substance to be taken lightly. It's clear that psilocybin is a powerful substance with both risks and potential benefits. Despite the risks, researchers are exploring the therapeutic potential of psilocybin. This fascinating compound, the active ingredient in magic mushrooms, is currently being studied for its possible benefits in treating a range of conditions, from addiction to depression. Let's dive into this intriguing world of therapeutic potential. One of the front runners in this field is Dr. Stephen Ross of New York University. His research focuses on the use of psilocybin in conjunction with psychotherapy to treat alcoholism. The idea is that psilocybin may help resolve spiritual distress in addicts, a key component often linked to addiction. Despite the fact that psilocybin is categorized as a Schedule I drug, both New York University and the University of New Mexico have received approval to conduct these groundbreaking studies. Ross puts forward a compelling argument for psilocybin's therapeutic potential. He believes its low addiction potential and ability to induce spiritual experiences could be instrumental in addiction recovery, and he's not alone. Previous research on psilocybin with cancer patients has shown promising results in reducing anxiety and depression. However, Ross is keen to emphasize the importance of conducting this research in safe, controlled settings. The misuse of psilocybin can lead to a range of negative side effects, including paranoia and anxiety. So, it's vital that proper guidance is given to those participating in these studies. It's a fascinating field of study, and one that's only just beginning to be explored. As we delve deeper into the world of psilocybin and its potential therapeutic uses, it's exciting to think about what might be discovered. However, it's crucial that we approach this research with caution, ensuring that the potential benefits are properly understood and the risks minimized. As we continue to explore, we uncover more mysteries and potential uses of this magical fungus. Let's keep pushing the boundaries of our understanding and who knows what we might discover next. Before we wrap up, we'd like to remind you to like, share, and subscribe to the Curiosity Factory for more intriguing content like this. We've delved into the world of magic mushrooms today, explored their mystic properties, their potential risks, and their therapeutic possibilities. But what do you think? Does the idea of a mystical experience intrigue you? Could you see yourself using them in a controlled and safe environment, perhaps even for therapeutic purposes? Or does the potential for adverse side effects make you hesitate?
We're curious to know your thoughts on this. Please, share your views in the comments section below. Are you for or against the use of psilocybin, the magic ingredient in these mushrooms? And remember, there are no right or wrong answers here. We're all about fostering a community of curious minds and open dialogue. We're always eager to hear your thoughts and comments. Thank you for joining us today at the Curiosity Factory, where curiosity fuels our journey. Until next time, keep exploring.